Hello bookish people, this is Jairul Opie. The Booker Prizes has already announced their shortlist uh, more than a week ago and I'm here with the first book that I have read. Uh, it is uh, This Other Eden uh, by Paul Harding. Uh, I have read this book before the shortlist was announced. I probably finished it uh, on 18th of September and when I finished it I I was quite sure that this book was gonna make it to the shortlist uh, but I was a little bit lazy to make the video then. Uh, regardless, uh, I'll talk about what I loved about this book. Uh, this other Eden by Paul Harding is one of the most poetic book I have read in this year. Uh, this book was so mesmerizingly heart-wrenching uh, that it felt like the story uh, moves uh, as I uh, turn on turn the pages over, and I I I, I was really mesmerized and uh, with uh, the description of uh, the paintings that were uh, in the book. Uh, uh, the character Esther was a painter, and uh, when he painted uh, some of the uh, artworks, and these were. Uh, described later on uh, in his life and the description of the art pieces were so uh, amazing that I could see how uh, the uh, how the artwork were and when when Esther was uh, painting some of the pictures uh, and he was he was talking with other characters I could I could see the process by myself and at the end uh, it was it was really uh, not what I expected uh, because uh, sometimes we can uh, predict what is gonna happen but in real life not all the climax are perfect uh, and uh, what I believe like normally the movies and the books the authors and the di directors want uh, the story to be ended in a perfect way uh, Paul Harding did not choose that path he made uh, the ending uh, so realistic by making it so casual that I I just fell in love with this book uh, I have uh, not read all the shortlisted books, but I can surely say that This Other Eden by Paul Harding is my candidate to win this year's Booker Prize. Thank you.